What's up guys, Shelby's back on YouTube. This is what you guys usually watch me ride and what I've been building for a long time. She's pretty much done, thing's awesome. And the only thing I run into is basically when my buddies get to go out to the hills, well not the hills, I guess the mountains really, and go sightseeing, I get so nervous with all the time and money that's been put into this little machine to ensure that she's a track princess. So the time has come and I decided, why not? Let's get a little trail bike. So my dad actually had this bike before and uh, he's recently gone into another direction, got a little KLX trail bike. So he's gonna be cruising with my mom more often. The boys are out of the house and out of this the area so he has no one to really go uh, ride with like we used to and he's getting a little older so he's being conscious of that and so i ended up picking this thing up from him and now this is my new little baby i don't know why i'm so pumped on this thing but it's a 2015 yz 250 fx so it's got the wide ratio six speed transmission gearbox it's got the 18 inch rear wheel best part has e-start which is sick fuel injection and this year was honestly one of the best years uh, that yamaha really transitioned into a new design new chassis and man this thing is so balanced the main reason i really like and am excited that i have this thing now is basically when i did a iron man race with my dad and one of my best friends chris and uh, at the time I had a 2013 Sierra 450 that I just went through. And of course it was like a track princess again. And uh, it was just on off power. We rode Hollister Hills, SVRA, if you know where that is, um, outside of the Bay Area in San Jose. And uh, the dirt's really silty and it was dry and it was hot. And basically we ran a total of, I guess, six hours or so. Um, and we split it up between the three of us and Chris and I did the most laps. So for us coming off the couch, pretty much it was like a brutal ride, like so sore. And um, ended up, I did the first outing on the Sierra 450 and it was just horrible. The thing was too stiff, it was sliding everywhere and it would stall in the really tight stuff because it was just not geared right and the motor's too much torque, I weigh nothing. And so my dad was like, well, why don't the next session out so you don't beat yourself up, why don't you try? the YZF and I was like all right cool so I went out and night and day that thing it was incredible probably one of the most drastic transitions riding from all the bikes I've ridden and I rode that thing for the next I think we did like another 60 miles or so on it throughout the day and even though I was exhausted I had like arm pump I had uh, I was like dehydrated all that stuff it didn't matter at all uh, the thing was just super smooth super plush and we were just uh, able to enjoy the rest of the day on the bike and mostly due to just the ease of use. Super smooth roll on in third gear especially. The Yamaha motor is known for that and uh, this bike is a testament to that, especially when they redesigned the motor a little bit. Real quick before I get rambling on about the bike, um, you know, my favorite part again. Electric start. Sounds good, super easy, it's gonna be fun. And so yeah, with the redesigned motor, man, this thing really just performed so good on the trails. And I rode it even on the track the next day cause we were like camping over the next weekend or something. And it performed super good on the track too. So it was just honestly like the best all around bike I've ever had. And back then it was one of the first e-start bikes that was out that was, you know, actually competent. So. Um, that's kind of the memory I had with it. And so when my dad was like thinking about maybe going another direction with the bikes, I was like, I gotta get my hands on that thing. So, you know, he got me a, a price and my buddy, uh, MX Revival, Charles. I don't know if you guys follow MX Revival, but if you don't look them up, they're awesome. They make sick bike builds. Uh, he actually transported it up. He's coming up to Idaho, to the Boise area with his wife. And so he actually picked up the bike from my dad and brought it up for me. So shout out to him, thank you so much. That means a ton. And yeah, I am so pumped. Just rode this thing around the neighborhood and it just feels so smooth, so easy to ride, easy to start, no big deal. So 
what's to come. So plans for this thing. Honestly, uh, the only thing I have right now is the Cycra Power Flow plastics kit in all blue. So just to give it a fresh look, fresh coat of paint, and probably put some graphics on it that are a little more reminiscent of 2020 and uh, bring this thing into this era. Um, it is a little bit older, it's 2015, so we're five years back, but honestly, this thing has super low hours, uh, probably around 25 to 30 maybe max. And my dad is super immaculate when he comes to taking care of bikes. So I definitely trust this thing. He always changed the oil, taught us to change the oil every few hours and uh, keep these things running crisp. So plastics kit for now, a little bit of graphics. And then from there, honestly, just gonna rock it. Um, the bike has pretty much everything that comes from the factory so far. Some things that are put on it, some next hand guards, uh, pro taper bar pad. Uh, it's got these sick impact wheels with the blue hubs from Tusk. Uh, the skid plate, I believe, is aftermarket, um, but I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. It's got Deval radiator braces. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the Promoto billet in cap for spark arrestor and noise regulation to meet California standard, which doesn't matter in Idaho, but having the sparky on there is huge for me just going out in the forest. And then the Promoto billet kickstand, which is sick, I actually installed that for my dad a long time ago. So the gift that I got him and my brother, and then we got him the wheel set too. So it's kind of funny how that works coming back around. At least I have good taste. And then it's got the Super Sprocks sprocket set um that's got a new chain on it looks like it's o-ring chain and yeah everything else i think is bone stock on her so pretty sick and then i got a box of stuff with it too i'll show you oh it came with this got a fender uh, my dad's usually pretty organized so it's awesome benefits me title the manual oem number plates oil filter, um, the filter and the screen for the oil filter, spark plugs, more filters, brand new pro taper <laughs> chain, cross ring chain, jeez, uh, super sprocks, another one, another one, jeez, loaded up, a Galfer backup disc, a uh, new filter, air filter, another chain guard, and uh, another counter shaft sprocket, and assorted oil filters. So I'm good. Pretty sick coming with all that giddy, all those goodies. So I'm stoked. I really just want to go trail ride. Work has been nuts, and I haven't really been able to go out yet. And then I've also got psycho kit to go on it too so that'll be fun put a little bit of my own personality on it with some graphics probably going to keep it really simple and oem looking on this one and uh yeah like i said people have been crazy moving to idaho to the boise area so we've had um almost we're almost at 15 families now in the last two and a half weeks or so visiting and purchasing homes up here which is so cool for business uh, appreciate all you guys that have spread the word on social platforms, on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, that actually impacts my business a ton and really appreciate you guys. So if you know anybody moving to the Boise, Idaho area, we do mass production up here for how boutique our setup is and our service. So you do work with myself and my partner Robin um, directly. And uh, we do provide top-notch service for people anywhere from first-time home buyers all the way up to complete luxury, million dollar plus homes. So, very uh, well versed in those processes and investments too. My wife and I own, uh, we're gonna be owning, we're going into our fourth um, investment property that we'll close on in July. So if you guys have questions about what that looks like and how that works, definitely more than happy to help you guys out, hit me up. My number's usually on my YouTube channel or in the description below. So, all right guys, let me know if you have any questions about the YZ250FX. Let me know if you guys have one, what you think of them and uh, looking forward to my first uh, GoPro footy of me riding this thing.
See you guys. Like, subscribe. Thanks.